It worked, didn't it? You stinking piece of grunt. They're going out to dinner, right? So what are you still whacking off about? <laughs> Steve Arino? Bodyguard? Jesus. I thought for a second that lifeguard was going to kick the crap out of me. <laughs> I didn't see you making any great moves. You didn't see me acting like a retard either. Somebody had to do something. And you sure as hell did it, Ricky baby. She asked to see my screen. Wasn't my idea. You didn't have to do so loud. Just remember one thing, Ace. You can't chase pussy in a three-piece suit. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means <laughs> I'll make a fool out of myself any day of the week for a piece of ass. You gotta be willing to go the distance. That's the thrill of the hunt. Well, at least they accepted our invitation. I just hope it's gonna be worth it. Worth it? Didn't you see those hooters? I couldn't help noticing them, yes. A 10, right? At least. What did I tell you? Okay, okay. You've got eyes. But what I can't believe is the way they always travel in teams. Have you noticed that? Two men teams, like Hitman or something. There's always this, this big old looking girl and this little one that couldn't get arrested. I see them all the time at schools, at dances and stuff. They sit there with this real take me look, but they, and they never dance with anybody. And they're just aching to hook up with somebody. But whenever you ask her to dance, she always says, No, no thanks, I'm with, with my girlfriend. girlfriend. Right. <laughs> and nobody's ever gonna take on this, that pig. So the foxy one is safe. It's uh, like a defense mechanism. Yeah, you can bet she ditched the little one fast enough if she saw somebody she really wanted. But until then, she can always act like she's got this incredible loyalty to her friend or something. Yeah. How's my hair? <laughs> ah, it's looking pretty sharp, Ace. Looking up tight. All right. Out of sight. <laughs> you need some apple juice? <laughs> what do you got? Uh, let's see, I got uh, Old Spice, English Leather, Brute. Uh, uh, I, I like that. Nah, I think we ought to load for bear. Here we go. Musk oil. <laughs> it's like nerve gas. The chicks are paralyzed. Sounds good to me. So what's your game plan, coach? Well, the way I see it, this girl is no dummy. We're not gonna get with her first base unless we come out smart. Guys like that, girls like that, don't go down for air. <laughs> She's got class. Class to her ass. <laughs> so, uh, how about the essence of jockstrap? Not her type. No. No. We gotta come on smart. We gotta come on and show it. We gotta come on culture. <laughs> we gotta come on like Alistair Cook! Uh, Alistair might be a bit too old for this chick, Clint. You know what I mean. We take her to a fancy restaurant with, you know, candlelight, wine, music. Dance is always good too. It gets the old contact started. And, and every time we sit there, we go on crazy about Cahill Gibran and Kill, uh, Kurt Vonnegut, you know, kill him with that word. Sensitivity. Yeah, I never read those guys. I can tell you everything you need to know in five minutes. Helps it if you throw in some women's lip stuff, too. Would you say you've had a pretty good score ratio with this technique? Uh, dynamite. Talk some numbers. How many? My whole freshman year, uh, five, six. That means two, and a couple more who you felt up until they found out you were a freshman. Listen, college happens to be a fantastic place to score. You don't even know what you're missing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's true, Clint, but with all due respect here, we've got one evening to operate, not two semesters. So bear in mind that although my old man is not blowing several grand to float me through four years of summer camp, I have, in the course of my travels and in my own humble way, stumbled upon one or two points of practical interest. May I? Be my guest, Ricky Baby. Point one. Surprise! Surprise! Key element. 
These chicks think we're all going out to a restaurant, correct? But we're not. No way. Picnic. Moonlight. Isolation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, you don't give chicks a choice, idiot. You tell them. <laughs> yeah, but be invited to a restaurant. <laughs> Believe me, they'll go where we tell them to. If there's one thing chicks like more than getting laid, it's eating. <laughs> we bring along a lot of extra salty fried seafood, and we make sure there's not, nothing non-alcoholic to drink. That's where point two comes in, beer. Are you with me? I think so, so far. All right, now, you've caught them off guard, you're getting them drunk, and you're ready for point three, talk dirty. Talk dirty? You know, keep subtly leading the conversation into areas that are a little off color. They pretend to be shocked by it all, but actually, they find it titillating, and I think that word says it all. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you did all through high school? Develop this system? Point four? Divide and conquer. Meaning? Meaning? We carve the gargoyle away from the tent, <laughs> deprive her of her natural ally. One of us waves a red flag in front of this Ronda cream, <laughs> while the other goes in for the kill. Matadors use the same technique. So, that's my plan. Sound good? Yeah, crude, but effective. It might just work. Okay, then repeat after me. Point one, surprise. Point two, beer. Point three, talk dirty. Point four, divide and conquer. Surprise, beer. Dirty talk, divide and conquer. Okay, I think I got this. I'm ready. All right. <laughs> hey, remember, I wasn't Rick the stick for nothing. <laughs> stick with the stick. Oh my God. And oh. you'll get an education that means something. <laughs> Great. Then we're starting our plan of attack. All right, you all sit on the 10? Ready to grab to the 10. Great on that 10. Okay, buddy, you and me. Okay, Ace. Okay. Boom. <laughs> What's that? Which one of us is going to walk the dog? <laughs> <laughs>